What's up guys, Farrells here with details on the brand new title update in Madden 18. What does that mean? You community guys probably call it a patch. There's fixes, changes, updates, mode differences, reward fixes, and in my opinion, number one most requested community feature from you guys has been fixed in this one, and we'll talk about that in one second. Before we do that, shout out to the four competitors who made it this weekend on the right side, True Boy over on PS4. He was ranked at high as number two last year. He's back in this event after walking off against Beast Mode Mac in an amazing game in overtime on a kickoff return. Shout out to Beast Mode for streaming that game. Duke, the veteran, he's back. Dub dot W, your Madden Bowl champ. And then Joke, who was in the final four of the Madden Championship last year, he could have been in if not for a few problem kick returns. So Joke returns and has been around for a long time and is a very good player. They joined Skimbo, your champ last year, Stevie J, Chaos, and Tweez, October 20th and 21st to see who can win the Madden Classic. $100,000 on the line in that event. But let's get into the patch, the changes, the updates, new features. If you've played Long Shot and you've gone through it, you can now go back to specific moments of gameplay that you might want to play again. So that's cool if you haven't played Long Shot since you beat it. Squad season. So in Mud Squads, you started out, it was just kind of playing one off games. Now it is more like head to head seasons where it actually keeps track of a season. And so you can grab on your buddies and play and get better rewards. Mutt Champions monthly leaderboards. So you can stack up how you do it monthly. And then lineup restrictions. So we'll see if they mess around with how you can bring your lineup into Mutt Champions. Official rules are in there. So now you can read those. Hopefully that will help bring more awareness to competitive gaming. Top updates. Addressed issue with players recovering fumble not being able to be tackled. I saw that. Tuning to decrease hit stick and cut stick fumbles globally. So... As a hit stick king myself, you want to know, did they make it harder to hit stick, make it harder to cut stick, or did they just tune back fumbles if you hit stick? So we'll be in here testing gameplay on this and taking your thoughts on the patch as well. Quarterback couldn't dive all scrambling. A bubble screen, there was one in Denver in single back that we liked last year. We'll go back and check that now. A gun monster, remember the formation, people, a lot of people were beating solo challenge with it. You get great pancakes, RIP to that formation. Now, one thing I really like about this patch is on the right-hand side, you see them there, the ability chemistries. So those are in ultimate team and they're, you know, on certain players. So unfakeable. When user controlled, player does not get faked out by ball carrier moves. That's awesome. And then when AI controls, it can only be faked out by tier one moves. You hear me say, he doesn't have 90 move. He doesn't have 90 move. Well, tier one moves still can be AI players. And that's why I love tier one moves. Also just because they're faster and they're the best versions, but... That's another reason. Secure tackler, very similar. Tackles won't be broken. Footsteps is probably my favorite. Defensive players in the area of a, of a catch will bring a higher catch penalty to players uh, near the ball who are catching it. Across the middle, you, you got your user in the area. Boom, I want to see those passes dropped. Uh, I like this cat and mouse of situational pass rusher and primetime protector. Third, fourth, and long. You're already setting your stuff to aggressive. Guys are teeing off because you know they're only going to pass. You want to see that boost uh, in there, and then you want to see a way to counter it with prime primetime protector. Lead the way. Sounds a lot like impact block, you know, increasing that. And then interception specialist. Defenders are less likely to drop picks. A lot of new helmets are hidden in there for you guys. General updates, and this is where I'm going to sneak in the most requested feature in Ultimate Team. You guys can now remove items from sets. So you put some stuff in sets you didn't mean to. Badges. Ah, I thought I was going to do this one. Realize it's too much. Is it too late? Can't get my stuff back. Got to wait till the set closes. You can now go in, batch remove. Look, it might seem small. A lot of stuff with Mutt, it's UI. It's, it's, you don't know how good it is until you, you have it or you don't have it. So that's a big one, and we snuck that in. Next up, some changes. So Paul Perkins, Evan Ingram, rookie Evan Ingram. He's going to be looking much, much better. And you can see some changes uh, to update some players' visuals. Whew, gameplay. This is the bread and butter. This is where everyone's probably scrolling down to. And there's two things that I really like in here, and we'll talk about them. Um, so first up, QB contain, lock in the tackles. We showed an example of a blitz like that on Twim last week at the end of the show and also how to counter it which was good, but that's something you want to look into. That was in the 3-4 segment. Um, bad ball hawk. None of this stuff is, is crazy to me. Fixed exploit around playmaker mechanic while using target passing. I don't know if anybody actually used that or found that, but that was something that was in there. And very interesting. We'll look at scene and Madden, what gets shared, what, you know, what doesn't make it out. 
uh, but that's no longer in there. Fix an issue where a user has been able to call timeout. I think that happened to me once or twice. It only happened to me once, but it resulted in 15 losses for me. Isn't that crazy how that works? Okay. Uh, ID the mic. Like I don't think that happened to me. Okay. Add penalty to users who use LBL1 computer defensive assist in competitive. I love it. Um, added additional thresholds. This whole category is my favorite. Added additional thresholds for broken sacks on competitive game style. Added additional thresholds for hit stick fumbles on competitive game style. Added additional thresholds for auto broken tackles, for AI strip ball attempts. Um, I just like that on competitive game mode, they're continuing to tune it. It appears to add thresholds. So, hey, if a player's not this rating, he's not going to do this action. And we always kind of want to tune that. Uh, we competitive players always want to see that tuned and adjusted. And they want to see only certain players with certain ratings be able to make specific plays and not have them be random, random outcomes. So you don't want to see quarterback with 15 elusiveness get a broken sack. That costs you the game. But you don't mind seeing Big Ben get it because if you play with Big Ben, that's something that you'd want to see. So you want to see those, those thresholds uh, work in your favor. And, and there's a bunch in there, and I, I like that. I like the way what that shows. Okay. Um, some motion, some man coverage. I hope this doesn't cover one hole because it's already pretty hard to beat it deep, but we'll see what that fixes. And perhaps man coverage could be back. And then I really like adding a banner that triggers when a player with a low catch rating drops a pass or a pick, when uh, a player with high hit power causes a fumble, or when a player with a strip ball trait causes a fumble. And the reason I like those is because not everybody knows that Calvin Pryor's got a huge hit stick or back with back in the day, Taylor Mays flying out there on the field. Like you get hit in mutt, you don't know who's on what team, and you're like, man, I fumbled, that stinks. But it's, if it triggers a banner that's like high hit power, you're like, all right, at least I got hit with a guy with high hit power. The guy drops a pass. Yeah, at least my I know my CB that dropped that pass has has low catch, and so it's not something I'm doing. It's something that you know is ratings based, but but now there's limits, and it's not necessarily a bad luck roll of the dice. And I like how that's happening now. Uh, in competitive, added the ability to create more complex rule sets. That's something I really like to see as well for lineups and and create more challenges and stuff like that. And then the last note, which is cool, is improve the chemistry abilities graphics. So now when you're playing. Uh, it'll flicker blue, the chemistry will, will be blue, it'll flicker, and it'll show the symbol. So now you know that you're activating something, you'll know that it's live, and you always like to know that if you have that stuff active, that it's working. If Gunslinger's working, you want to see that you got that. Uh, a bunch of franchise stuff here, I'll let you guys read through that. You see Vegas, you see uh, Color Rush uniforms, some different roster stuff, so that is looking good. A bunch of updates in there for franchise. Before we go, I want to talk about Team of the Week. So... For team of the week, I said uh, Leonard Fournette, but you guys said yes, he could get one, but probably not the master. You guys thought Alex Smith or Carson Wentz. Defensively, you guys thought Earl Thomas. I thought Sheldon Richardson. So we'll see who comes up. I wouldn't be surprised to see Miles Garrett get some love. He had a really good debut uh, for him. And uh, hopefully there'll be some good team of the weeks tomorrow. But that's it for details on this update. I'll put the blog link in the description. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Until next time, this is Farwell's reminding you to lock up. And for gameplay and how this patch actually works, I'll be playing on the channel on Twitch, and I'll put some of this gameplay over here so we can uh, test it. Let me know your thoughts. People are going to go crazy over this. They're going to say, this changed. And it's like, that doesn't say that. But th there could be more, but also sometimes people's minds just get a little crazy around patch time. So we'll be here to corroborate in the comments. Let me know. Lock up.